Hey guys, welcome back out to the shop. Uh, my last Shed Wars video, you can see I was organizing my shed, getting things put away in there. And I come across just a use for ABS pipe. I had some kicking around and um, I took and chopped it up, made a couple brackets out of it. So I've got a few things hanging up for it. So I'm just going to share those with you today. Just something that's really easy. Now I use a bandsaw. Um, to do these but you can easily use a hacksaw or a wood cutting saw like a cross cut saw by hand um, I wouldn't use a grinder uh, just because it'll melt it but you know it's easy enough to do and um, stick around I'll take you back out to the shed show you kind of what I did and then show you kind of how to do it not a lot of measurements if you want it perfect make it perfect that's a Brian Brazil thing and um, you know, I don't. I don't care if it's got a little bit of an angle on it. It doesn't matter to me. As long as it holds, as long as it doesn't fall off the wall, that's all that matters. That is just a piece of inch and a half ABS pipe bolted on or screwed on to a piece of two by two. And just like that, that holds my weed whacker. So here is another piece that's about an inch and a half long. A little bit less is cut out of it, but um, things flashlight. So another piece that's about an inch and a half long, hanging right beside the garage door. Nice spot for the mag light. This is just a great thing to use for anything that you know gets lost all the time. Bicycle pumps. Oh my goodness, the kids are always losing them. Another piece that's about two inches long. Hang it on the wall. Get on there with my foot. Keeps it off the floor. Keeps it somewhere where you can find it. These things are super easy to make. Super handy to have. that simple so I went through that pretty fast over there at my bandsaw but just here's a couple simple tips if you're trying to cut pipe um, if you want to cut around the pipe a real simple trick is to take some wide tape like this lay it on there as nice as you can and hold it on as straight as you can and when you put it on make sure that your lines line up now if you cut along that that seam right there, you're going to have a nice fairly straight cut. Now that's if you're doing it in the vise with a hacksaw. All right, if you have a flat table where you can hold this and actually run it through or if you can hold it in and chop it with a chop saw, you don't really need that as long as your blade is square. Now, if you're trying to cut a straight line on something, like say that piece that I cut off that was, you know, 2 inches long or whatever, and I'm trying to do this in the in the vise. Any chunk of angle iron like this, when you lay it on there, as long as it's not twisted, when you lay it on there, all you got to do is follow the line of the angle iron, and you get a straight line. So as long as you kind of know where you want to cut it, or how big you need your hole to be, you can take and mark these, just like so, and that gives you a nice straight line. So that sits right in there. And any size will do, but the bigger it goes, if it hangs out like like that, obviously it's going to be harder to mark. This one's nice and small, it sits nice and tight, and if I just lay it on there, I just have to run my chalk along it, or whatever, my felt marker or whatever, and I get straight lines. So just a little tip for you there. So now we're going to drill a couple holes in the, in the very back of this. A number 10 screw is about 3 16 of an inch, so use a 3 16 drill bit. I uh, just got a backer piece of wood here, I'm just going to drill these holes. Again, the measurements are not at all critical here. 
once I do that, I'd like to run a countersink in it, just because I'm hanging them with um, countersunk screws, just to keep them out of the way, and a uh, couple holes that are countersunk, and we'll go screw that into the wall somewhere. Actually, I'm going to do this right here because I don't really need one of these right now. So you want a bit that's a little bit longer because you have to reach in to make sure you put your screws in. A standard bit will work that's about um, two inches long. Screwdriver, whatever, doesn't matter. And I'm just going to use this just as a as my pretend wall. So it doesn't take much of a screw, those are just three quarter inch screws, and that's basically what you end up with. Now you've cut out about an inch of material here, Okay, you can kind of see that we've left a bit of the curve on, and that's what grabs onto things. Now, simple thing like this, just a chunk of, or not a chunk, just a simple thing like this, just to show you, easy peasy. Okay. So anything that's round, it'll hold it, sort of thing. You know, if you're trying to hang something like this, you know, you've got to take into account that you've got this hanging out, so you want to mount this on something, you know, a little bit wider. Anyways, I hope you got a little bit of something out of that. You know, give it a try. Flashlights, anything round. Um, like I have uh, mounted in my shed there, my weed whacker you know it's a gas powered thing weighs probably 35 40 pounds and you know it holds it no problem and keeps it up off the ground because it's such an awkward shape you know that you set it on the ground and then the wheel rolls away and it falls down all the time that was just amazing how that just worked out so fantastic so i just wanted to share it with you so hope you like it give it a thumbs up if you do thanks for watching